Um, Leo, if I may ask you one question. Um, serving in the, the Navy Reserve, um, what type of advice would you give to service members currently now to, to try to serve our country in the best manner possible and, and to try to live up to the greatest generation? I think uh, a couple things. One is you look to your heritage, your legacy, and I think that was big for us. We looked to the senior leaders, guys that had been in Korea. We had guys there that had been in World War II. You look to the models of the past. Uh, you have to adapt to the future. And you lead... Uh, you got to be committed. You got to be committed. You really have to be committed because you're going to get knocked down. You're going. It's not going to be easy, and you got to keep on keeping on. And chapter six is about resiliency, and I talk about the wives back home. And I was single. I was lucky, but the wives were the resilient ones because they had to raise a family, not knowing about us. We knew we were what we were going through, and we knew we were okay today. They didn't know. Resiliency, bouncing back, bouncing back. You have to be resilient in life and especially in the military. And you have to have a support team. I make, In every chapter I talk about a support team. You cannot fight alone. If you're a loner, you're missing out. You've got to have people that you trust that you can share your heart, your guts, your challenges. Your worst, worst, worst you be totally vulnerable. You need those people because if you don't, I'll tell you what will happen. You'll get taken out. Or you'll be like Jim Trussell. Jim Trussell wrote books on character. Jim Trussell was a coach at Ohio State who's no longer there. And he said, I knew about it, but I didn't know who to talk to, and I was afraid. And that came out as I was finishing this book. And so I was able to plug it back in. But that whole book, I talk about leaning into the pain, walking into your fears to do the right thing. He should have stepped into his fear to do the right thing. He knew what the right thing was to do. And he said, I didn't know who to talk to. You've got to have somebody to talk to when you're facing your toughest temptations and your biggest struggles. You've got to have somebody you can bear your soul to who can help you see the right path in those difficult situations. That's crucial.